Hello. Okay. Um, went to one of the local shops, which was like a DIY shop, and they had these locks in, and I've seen these locks before, uh, Marksman, and um, I've seen them before, uh, different styles, and I, I can't remember whether I've seen one this shape or not. It's a kind of American style lock, um, and you can take the core out by the looks of it. So, on the bitting on the keys, quite good actually. Do it there in the light, so it's looks like five pins. First one's really low, then it's high, then it goes down again to a low. So that's not bad. Um, it's got a strong core spring and a very strong shackle spring. For example, when I open this, listen to this. In fact, it almost wants to pull the lock out of my hand. <clears throat> And there's quite a bit of tension on this spring as well, on the core, so it's um, it's going to be an interesting pick. Uh, I have actually picked it once, um, and I think I was on about seven or eight minutes before I realised it was already picked. It's one of those. I've had this with the Abus Brady. This core spring so strong that <clears throat> um, you picked it, you don't realise. A uh, bit of a giveaway here that this is a obviously a Chinese lock, as it says, lock on the key. All of the Chinese locks do that. So let's have a look. Uh, I think I use this one. I think I use this one. And actually, the tension wrench won't go all the way in because it's hitting the pin. So it's just burly in and I'm trying to retract it slightly. So put a bit of tension there. Um, <clears throat> okay, I'm going to do it with the uh, DeForest half ball. I think that's like 22 or 24 thousandths. It's the PNO2, I think. I can't quite see. Okay, so I'm going to put a bit of tension on this spring and see how we go. Not too much, moderate tension and one, two, three, four, five. And what you're going to find is you're going to find me flexing it every now and then and I'm just testing <laughs> that core spring and see which see whether it's actually picked. Don't expect this to have too much inside it. One two finding a trying trying to find binding pins. Three nothing on four nothing on five. Back to the beginning. That was two actually I can't two because one is so close to the pin. Pin so close to the tension wrench. One, two, that was on the warning. Three, four, and nothing on five. Okay, so I'm going to go the shape of the lock slipping out of my hand. Check the tension again. One, two, three, Four and nothing on five. Just check that. Nope, not picked. One, two, felt quite a bit there. Three, four, and nothing on five. One, two, three, little double taps. Four, and five. I tend to find that little double tap technique as I'm going down the, the stack. Um, not too hard a pull on the pick, but it does tend to kind of the pin's just not quite in there. It sometimes helps you just to seat it home. And the click on one. Thought we had it then. Two, three, four. 
five. So we actually feel quite close. Just gonna stroke the pins. They feel quite solid actually, so I may have overset actually. I'm trying to get a grip of the lock again. See the first pin there, right up against the tension wrench. Let's go in again. Oh, it is as you pick. See, told you. Click. There we go. When I said I felt movement before, I think that it was actually picked. Just didn't put enough tension. Okay, so that was with the um, that's with the uh, multi pick deforest half ball and a chunky tension wrench, top of the keyway. Uh, screwdriver. So let's open this up. Oh, I was expecting it to be really tight, you know, lock tight something on there to lock the threads. Mm. Let's see what this offers. See if we can gut this, eh? Bring in my new trusty tray. There it is. Okay, one screw. Move it. Threaded. How do we do this? Retaining piece and it's full of grease. Ooh, look at all that grease in there. Okay, so it's double ball bearing locking. Let's leave that to one side. I'll take that off there. So that's picked and just a little look in there. Okay. No gutting disasters, please. Well, there's no clip on the back. That's a surprise. You're not going anywhere. It's... Okay, it's locked back up. Um, let's just have a little experiment here. Try and shim down there. She will go there. Let's just have a little look. Please bear with me. Key in. We don't, oh, we don't want to lose any uh, pins, do we? Okay. It's it's not going to go more than that way anyway, so you couldn't couldn't do anything with the pins. Just zoom in here. So it looks like it could have had six could it one two three four five. okay i wonder if i can do this get my light in here all right you can see the pins one two three four five we find a pointer One, two, three, four, five. Nothing in this six chamber, which tells me that the six chamber's got a pin that goes in and is stopping the core from coming out. So there'll be a groove in the core and it'll allow it to move, but it'll also stop the core from coming out. It's a bit of a shame, that, isn't it? I'd love to have taken that apart. Okay, that's a bit it. That's it then, I think. Let's forget the gutting. Nay possible. So there we go. There's a marksman and is a packet that it came in. It's the 59186C 65mm padlock. It doesn't boast anything major about picking, but it does. I feel like a nice beefy lock. Um, so I'm just going to pause this and I'm going to 
put everything back together quickly to make the video shorter. And then I'm going to see if I can, um, I'm going to see if I can uh, break it. Okay. Two minutes later, we're all back together. We're running out of time. It's taking, taking, turning to a long video. So I'm just going to, uh, I'm going to chuck some uh, bottom of the keyway in here. Oops, look out of frame. Not wide enough. Okay, let's try. Not fully prepared for this. I've got a wider tension wrench, I have. Okay, just going to try rocking it first, give it a couple of the different attempts here. With the city rake. Nope. Certainly some pins tried to set there. Okay, let's give it the trusted sparrow's worm. Problem with like raking locks like this is that you've got to overcome the tension on that core. Okay, doesn't want to rake, so I'm not going to go any further than that. So that's it, the marksman. Chunky beefy padlock, very heavy, long shackle, and that's all I've got for you guys today. Thanks very much for watching. Take care. Bye bye. You have a nice day. Sorry for the video being very long, and bye bye for now. Bye bye.